rights. Thousands carried signs demanding better pay and better working conditions. Many were also there to protest against President Trump's immigration policies. In Charlotte, hundreds gathered in Marshall Park for what is called a day of resistance. Activists sending a message to city, state, and national leaders that immigrants, Muslims, and others are not being protected. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez spent the day with them in Tanya, the fear very real for many of these families. It is. I talked to families who worry that they're about to be torn apart. Talked to others who said they just showed up in solidarity because if there's one person in our community who's living in fear, then it affects us all. They held signs, hands, and American flags. When do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. They when shouted a rally cry and a call to action with a simple message. I think all of us care about making the city safe for everybody. Those who gathered in Marshall Park say the city of Charlotte needs to do more to protect immigrants and keep families together. But I still see many people suffer from this, so I don't think it's fair for them. So I'm here to stand up for, uh, with them. They marched through Uptown, taking their message to the courts, the police, and even the banks. I come here for the cause. I come to stand with black, brown, and white because there's no room for hate. And we all won, and everybody deserves to be treated fair. USA! Monday's rally, part of immigrants' rights demonstrations across the country. Brought people from all walks of life. And white silence. Who say everyone in the community should matter, even the ones in the shadows. These are members of our community, and we actually can't survive without them. And I talked to one wife today who is worrying out her family is going to survive because she is living with the threat of her husband being, being deported any day now. You're going to hear their compelling story coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Also, some of these demonstrators did go to the Bank of America building to attempt to bring some of their grievances there. When they got there, though, the doors were locked. Reporting live in Uptown, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. All right, Tanya, thanks for that report. Happening tonight, parents will meet again to talk about the likelihood that two...